during the gradual withdrawal of chitta ekagata is present throughout Withdrawal of chitta ekagata is present throughout. The four jhanas. Ah, the jhanas. How strong is the presence of ekagata in the jhanas? Now, uh, you, you have to understand the meaning of ekagata. It's not, some people translate ekagata as concentration. Ekagata is not concentration. Ekagata means the mind is not divided into two. That is the unification of the mind. So, it's not concentration. Single pointedness, Pati. Eh? The c popular translation of Ekagata is single pointedness, one pointedness or one pointedness. One point yeah, that pointed, pointed is not the right word. <laughs> it's really unification of the mind. Unification. That is the Ekagata. Unity is one. The mind not divided into two. That means Mano and Chitta are working in unison. That's right, Mano. Conflict. Yeah, Mano and Chitta not pulling in two different directions. That's why you translate it as cognitive consonance. Yeah, cognitive consonance. Yes. We call it. Because the, this is actually the division is also created by the cognitive process. Because the emotions, the chitta cannot think. Now it is the thinking. It's like uh, say for example we take an example. <clears throat> a, a conflict between the mother and the daughter daughter uh, gets hold of some young man and says I am falling in love with that man and uh, mother says that man is not a good person don't go after that man you see no 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 I, I love him and I, I can't go and you see, you give, the daughter begins to give, bring all kinds of arguments to show that it is right to fall in love with that man. So that means the thinking part is making use of uh, reasons to defend the emotional part. So in other words, the thinking part is divided into two. It is that is why it is called cognitive dissonance. The thinking part is the cognitive part. It is the cognitive part that is uh, helping the emotional part. Otherwise, the emotional part cannot uh, give logical reasons. It can only <coughs> desire things or hate things. Cannot give logical reasons. The logical reason is given by the thinking part. This diagram yeah. on the huh? screen. Ah, there you are. Pulling in different directions. Just the cognitive dissonance. This second statement here. One, yeah. Reacts according to feeling. Justify one's emotionally charged decision with clever reasoning. The clever reasoning comes from the cognition. Mano. Yeah, mano. <laughs> Bhante, maybe you can explain the meaning of Vichikicha because everybody thinks it's translated as skeptical doubt. 
Yeah, Vichikicha is usually uh, translated like that, but uh, what I am saying is that Vichikicha, V means separation. And uh, Kicha is coming from thinking. Separation in thinking. Really is a uh, Kicha means uh, action. So the action is divided into two. <laughs> it's like pulling and in two different directions. It's uh, in Sri Lanka we have what are called the bullock carts where the two bulls are tied to a, a cart. And uh, if the two bulls pull in two different directions, <laughs> the cart can't go. <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> but here I have never seen bullock carts. Not anymore. No. no. <laughs> ah, you had that. Huh? Little boy. Some areas. Oh. We buy the cow dung to ah. fertilize our garden. I see. <laughs> now you don't have cow dung. No, we don't buy cow dung. <laughs> we a lot.